Hey there, and welcome to today's Pick a Card reading. I'm Colleen, and this is Spiritualistic, and today we're going to be doing a 7 chakra check-in. We're going to take a look at your situation, see how your 7 chakras are balanced, and how these two things contribute to each other. We're going to pull some advice, and then we're going to see if there's anything else you need to know, regardless of whether it is related or unrelated to what else has previously been covered. So go ahead and select group number one, group number two, or group number three, and I will see you at your reading. Hi, group one. If you selected this stack of cards, then this is your seven chakra check-in. First, we're going to take a look at your current situation by taking a look at the Ascended Masters Oracle deck. I feel very zen tapping into your energy right now. A little bit like you might need a rest. You might be looking forward to a rest around the corner. Okay. You have to stay focused and work your magic. Yeah, it looks like you've been showing up consistently somewhere. Um, but you're not feeling necessarily like your life is as free as you want, but you're making positive change in the right direction. We have fertility and yoga with Pen and Baba G. This lets me know that you are working on your abundance and you're working on your balance. You are mastering both the physical realms and the cosmic realms. You're currently working on balancing the two, and there is a highlight between your solar plexus and your crown chakra. We can see from the colors that you might feel very confident in yourself because of your connection to the divine or your intuition, intuitive downloads, but primarily crown chakra matters. Of course, so your connection to the divine and source, whatever that means to you. So let's take a look at your seven chakras. We have the three of cups in the root chakra, judgment in sacral chakra, five of swords for your solar plexus. Let's take a look at your masculine energies. This does go along with fertility. You are putting a lot of action into play towards what it is that you want to create in the future, and you're not doing it alone. It looks like you currently have some help creating a stable environment, or you're creating a stable environment in a group setting, so it's taking some of the weight off your shoulders. Um, you are feeling guided and supported, and you're bringing the spirituality down, which is why we got the crown chakra color purple in the root chakra section. So for judgment, now we did get the heart chakra color for the sacral chakra, and this lets me know that you might be still learning what it is that you like or what gives you pleasure. You might be a little strict in this area, confusing what your heart wants with what makes you feel pleasurable. And your sensuality and your creativity are different from your love and your abundance energy, giving and receiving. This is merely experiencing physical senses. This could have something to do with the fertility, the abundance that you're trying to build for the future. With your solar plexus having the five of swords, I see that you're feeling very confident in your spirituality, but maybe not confident in your confidence. You want to overthink this, or maybe you have a good head on your shoulders, but you're having a hard time communicating it. We'll see further when we get to those chakras, but you know one thing, but there's a little birdie in your ear telling you the other. It's trying to sway you out of your confidence right now. This could be someone else trying to feel freedom, liberation through your own energy, through your connection to source, and you're divine. Unfortunately, um, no one else can have your energy except for you. You worked for that, they did not. Not until they learn trials and tribulations will they be there. And same for you. That's why no one can see anyone else's perspective all the way. Now, in the heart chakra, bridge between spiritual and 
physical realms, also masculine and feminine energy, we do have the King of Cups. This is balanced, masculine because King, feminine because water, but um, more of a gentle masculine energy. This lets me know that you are opening up your heart and you're feeling more free to communicate this. You're starting to become more comfortable. You are secure when it comes to your feelings. You know how you feel. You feel comfortable expressing it. However, you do still feel a little bit guarded. Although it might be something that you're aware of, whereas others around you may not be so aware of it. Um, there might very much be a sense of feeling alone as far as other people can only learn you as deeply as they've learned themselves. And it looks like you've done a lot of self-exploration. And this is what you're bringing down to your physical surroundings. Um, hopefully you are helping others build abundance along the way with you. But at this current point in time, you might not be alone but still feel alone. But your heart is open. You feel a little guarded. Not that you're not in the right environment, but that there might be a shift coming that you can feel. In the throat chakra, you are waiting for communication or waiting for an opportunity to creatively express yourself about something that you're very passionate about, or it could be your spirituality as well. The first of the feminine energies, feminine energies being a three, is letting me know that you are very abundant in this current moment in time, in 33 you're building stability by expressing your truth, and you are a master of this craft, whatever this means for you. But you're changing the way that you feel about yourself so that you can more easily, perhaps, flow the energy through your sacral to solar plexus to heart chakra because there's a little bit of a, a blockage right here. Between the uh, sacral and solar plexus chakras, both are colored in a murky green whereas the heart chakra space is blue so you're communicating your heart but you're not feeling it all the way you are um, confusing your sensations with your heart space and this is causing confidence when you're hearing not lack of support but not not what you need not something yes put there for you but not not in the way that you feel that you need it right now. And this is why judgment is also in the sacral chakra area. In your pineal gland, your third eye chakra, we have the knight of pentacles. And finally, the fool and the crown chakra. And now I don't mean to bring these out together. But the reason that I did is because you're opening up your intuition, but not that it hasn't been open. Um, you're opening up your mind's eye through your heart space. You're using your intuition to see these hurdles before they come up and be aware that this is why you're experiencing these things and this is why these people are in your lives. It's like being aware of this ahead of time has allowed you to create exactly what you needed to in order to bring you where you wanted to be and bring others along the way with you. But those accompanying you do not understand what you're doing and they're in your ear telling you that it's not going to work when really what you're doing is holding balance and having faith that you already know where you're going, you already know where you are, and you already know who you are, and that's more than probably a lot of the people in your environment can say for themselves. You've been on this long study journey, yoga is calling out to me again, asana, to be comfortable in a seated comfortable position, to feel comfortable experiencing discomfort. This is a slow study journey. Allow your intuition to continue opening and continue to channel these messages that are coming through you, but don't forget to differentiate the ones that are meant to come out versus the ones that are meant for you. I'm noticing the difference between the throat chakra and the heart chakra colors, the blue and the green here. Your confidence is in your faith to differentiate your messages, so make sure that Make sure that you are giving yourself the ones meant for you, and make sure that you're giving others the ones meant for them. You know the difference here, but it seems like you feel a lot more comfortable in your feminine energy, although in this lifetime you might be more exuding some of your masculine energy at this point in time while you're acting, trying to get things in place. But this balance 
internally you are balanced in your feminine externally you are just about there in your masculine so i implore you to take a look at your solar plexus chakra and try to feel confident about yourself for reasons that have nothing to do with your intuition and have nothing to do with your yoga or your your art or um your connection to god or the divine source your spirit guides angels mediumship whatever it is for you feel confident about yourself because you exist because you are abundant in existence because you are healthy because you are alive because you are here i'm gonna take a look at some advice for you this is really beautiful energy group one I hope you know that everything that you want is coming for you. I hope you know that the reason that you're in your head right now is because <laughs> you're very close to achieving your goal. Exactly. You already know what's coming for you. But don't let pride get in your way either. You're very confident about your intuition, what you're building, but your dreams need a practical plan. I see that you are putting this into place. You already have put this into place. But just because you see it, and you're acting on it doesn't mean that others are going to see what you're seeing because people cannot see through your mind's eye. Only you can. So your advice in this situation is not to listen to those around you. Stay in your own lane. Know that you're doing what it is that you're doing because only you can see things from your perspective. And only you have your intuition and your guides and know where it is that you are meant to go. And only you will be able to and happy once you get there. Able to get there and happy once you do. So, meditate and contemplate. Please, find your inner child. Release all that does not serve you. Go ahead and take a break. Relax. In the beginning, I was feeling very, just tired. Not over, overworked, but just like I could have kept going forever, but really needed a break, but had the privilege of ignoring that need. So, I really hope that this isn't how you're feeling. P.S. A personal issue reaches resolution moon and cancer this could be something that's exploded very recently this could be something from the distance uh, or something distant in the past that is reaching resolution at this current time or something relating the home life mother or comfort aspect of your life now i'm going to see if there's anything else that you need to know from a handy dandy mystic shaman oracle pre-shuffle energies i saw the giveaway and the staff so you're not working for free but you're not necessarily getting all that you deserve either but you're standing in your power in an honest authentic and purely beautiful way our solar plexus or our ego our life our physical consciousness in this body it is our friend it is who you are you know don't be prideful don't be full of your ego experience ego death and do your shadow work but know that you're in the middle world and if you're on a vision quest things need to strike in order for things to happen and if you are constantly moving i'll say this i said this before i've said it again but the way that the spiral works is if you are working towards something and it's not coming to you you're moving you need to rest you need to relax it will come to you when you stop and forget about it and release the need but when you are manifesting something and you are hoping and praying and you have the faith and you know that it's coming and you know that it's there and you can feel it and it's so close and you just don't know why it's not there yet but you're not quite putting the action into place because you feel like if you do you're gonna throw something off that's when you need to act in stagnation if it's not coming you need action in feminine energy you need masculine energy for balance in masculine action energy you need feminine rest for balance i'm seeing here that you're so on top of your feminine energy that you feel like you don't need the rest oh but you do Oh, but you do because if you're watching this video that means that you are in a human body which means that it has a desire and physical need to reach homeostasis so please get your sleep please flow go with the flow flow yoga yoga flow if you haven't been doing your yoga if you're an astangi or yogi or whatever it is you do whatever you are do your practice do your exercise love yourself love your body promise it's worth it promise 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 with 20 60 here we have 20 amplifying three times into 60 
This is letting me know that you are balanced and you're a master of the present moment, but at the same time, you're feeling complete, you're feeling whole, and that's why you feel pretty good doing what you're doing. So you need to make sure that you're cognitively taking a break, just like taking care of yourself like a child. You can't always see what's coming before you, and that much you know, so you need to make sure that you stay grounded. And in order to do that, you need to do what you know, and that's to rest, to eat, to yeah, eat, to sleep, to rest, to do your yoga, to drink your water, stay hydrated, communicate, have healthy boundaries, all this stuff. Keep practicing what you know, and it will continue to come towards you. But stay out of that mind, and s keep standing in your power, because nothing in the world can take away what you're meant for in this world, 77. You're already, oh, 777, seven, seven, excuse me. <laughs> you are making the changes that you already need to get where you need to go. We have drum and the lightning. It's happening. When it does, it happens fast, which is why you need to be in this e energy of flow and yoga. It's time to bring your feminine energy out to the forefront so that things, when things start moving uh, around in your external world, you are in a centered, sanctioned space. I hope to shed some light on your situation. And I love you so very much, group one. I hope you have a phenomenal rest of your day. And, um, namaste. You rock. Hey there, group two. If you selected the second group of cards, then this is your seven chakra check-in. So, today we're going to take a look at your situation and see how your energy is currently balanced in your chakras and pull some advice. And we're going to pull some extra messages, see if there's anything else you need to know. Um, I already pulled these cards for you. My camera got cut off, um, but I did shuffle, I promise. <laughs> the Ascendant Masters Oracle cards that I got for you were Go Now and Energy Healing. I feel like this with Merlin here definitely has to do with something larger than yourself. You're working on healing others. You're working on healing the collective, the earth. Um, you are doing something much, much larger than yourself, and you're in Magician Energy. You are aware of it, and you know... You know what to do and when to act. That's very important. And you're trying to build something physical. Okay, the star in your root chakra energy. With number seven, you're doing something divinely guided, divinely meant for you. Oh, I apologize, 17. The star, which is an eight. You're creating new cycles. Maybe you're um, trying to create generational wealth. You're trying to create generational healing. You're breaking ancestral karma. You could even be sending the entire collective healing energy, doing that energy work, transmuting the heavy stuff. Whatever it is you're doing, it's working. Your intentions are on your side, and you are focused. You're not allowing physical pleasures to get in your way because you have ascended that. You're feeling confident, and there is more allusion to the solar plexus chakra, which I'm about to pull right now. So let's see what's up here. The hermit. Okay, so you could be feeling alone, but knowledgeable. It's like you know what's going on around you because you've built it consciously you like where you're at this is exactly where you're meant to be but maybe you never put yourself in the position where you are right now to see how you would feel when you were here because you are so focused on where you were before and where you're going after that you're enjoying being <laughs> you're enjoying sitting up in the middle of the night levitating and meditating and connecting with your guides and shining this bright white light aura but no one's around to see it but in the meantime, you are sending this energy to others beyond yourself. It's like you need to be alone and sort your energy out in order to do this. And so maybe there are some situations around you that don't like that you're like this. Or they're not. There are some dark energies that do not encourage you to do your energy work. Because to them, they'll tell you that... They'll tell you that you need God, which is ironic. They'll tell you that you need to do whatever their mind is telling them is the reason that they are limited and cannot access more than 17% of their brain. Whereas you have healed this. You are an energy worker. You're also a physical manifester. Just because you know what you want, you go after it, and you're poised and temperate as you go for it. You continue to learn. You continue to practice. You continue to grow. Every single day, you show up. And just because you're alone, it's because... Where you're at, it's kind of a hard place for others to get to. So if they're putting anything on you, just know that that's what it is. Oh, in the heart space. Yeah. I had a feeling that there could be some challenges around this energy. 
maybe you're shaking off your environment. That's very possible. Um, but don't allow it to affect the way that you feel about yourself. Because the way that you feel about yourself when you're alone, that is you. When you collect other people's energies, it's going to break your heart. Because they're never going to have your experience and see things the way that you do. So when you share your unique experience with someone who has a different unique experience, this is showing me there's some clash going on in your environment. Some clashing. Mm. And uh, maybe London's calling out to some of you. <laughs> um, there are some changes and challenges in your environment, but what you are being forced to do, oddly enough, regardless of all this responsibility that you feel and all this stress and um, uh, mainly responsibility is you're being pushed and called perhaps by your guides your dreams whatever to play to do some inner child work to look within yourself and see what it is that you enjoy and this doesn't mean giving into physical pleasures in a way that don't align with your morality but it certainly does include feeling good about yourself and enjoying your life and enjoying where you are because now that you are where you wanted to be it's time that you enjoy it. Just because there's more journey ahead of you doesn't mean that you need to shut out the present moment and just go, go, go. Go now, go, 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 until you get where you're trying to go. And this might cause some harsh communication around with those who don't necessarily understand you, but um, you're one with the birds. <laughs> Seeing that you have this very, very high perspective view. You have the wisdom of the owl. You have the the high priestess hierophant, that silent knowledge energy of the bat. You have that those loud synchronicities in your face. You have the messages of the crow. Um, and you do know, you do understand the difference between fate and destiny, and that is how you come to where you are. So I see that you are expressing yourself, um, but you're having some thoughts that are troubling you. With this 99, this is letting me know that you feel perhaps stuck about where you're going in the future. Either because you're not seeing it right now or because maybe you thought things would look differently when you arrived where you are, which you've been over already. I think this is an, an opportunity for you to transmute or work with the energy, send some Reiki to chakra healing, whatever it is that's your vibe. Send some energy to yourself and the situations that you've been thinking about. Send some love. Send some energy transmutation. Send some energy. Um, there are definitely angels and guides that are here with you trying to help you get to where you want to go. But at this point, don't allow yourself to get stressed and don't allow yourself to get upset and in your head about literally anything because it's not worth it. You already are where you needed to be because you saw this, this place from the past version of yourself and you were able to get yourself here. That is your proof that you're you are going to get yourself where you're trying to go. In the crown chakra, I see the two of pentacles. Wow. Okay. So there's some definitely some juggling energy, some hot cold energy going on here. Um, what? But it's also grounded. So you have crown chakra energy in your root chakra, and you have root chakra energy in your crown chakra, also sacral chakra energy. So, you love hanging out in the spirit realms. You feel comfortable in the spirit realms. You might relate to um, being a starseed or feeling like you've had lives in other places, other realms, dimensions, planets, whatever. Um, regardless of any of this, you are balanced and you're aware. But it seems like there's a pressure in the middle. There's something that needs to break. There's something that needs to fall away so that you can have this beautiful flow of energy and you're holding it in your heart space. I want to know, not what you're holding in your heart space, because you already know this, but I want to know why you're holding it in your heart space. And probably because something happened that hurt, or because of a past life, or because of something dramatic in this life, but I want to know deeply, spiritually, why. Um, I'm going to pull some advice for you, but I'm going to keep this question in the back of my mind. Why 
why does this institution, this feeling, this thought pattern, whatever it is, why does this need to break? Because it's a time to give rather than take. Or maybe you felt that it's a time. Okay, in your day-to-day life, you have been having a hard time resting, even though everything around you has been trying to get you to do so. It's a time to give rather than take, says you, every single day, all the time, not resting. The end of a tough cycle approaches full moon and Capricorn. Capricorn. Every time I think of Capricorn, I think bones and teeth because that's it's a zodiac ruler, but you have energy. You have the energy to build what it is that you want, but Capricorn is slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. This is the tortoise and the hare. Capricorn is literally the sign of business. The sea goat. You are balanced in your emotions and in your practicality and in your spirituality. That's mind, body, and spirit, and emotions. <laughs> You're balanced, and you've got what it takes. The reason that this needs to break is because you're going through struggles that you literally don't need to be even going through right now. And it might seem like there aren't a lot of struggles, but whatever it is that you're worried about in your security or in the physical realm, or spiritual or physical realms, your physical security or your spiritual security, maybe there have been some energetic attacks lately or some weird energy things going on, maybe some weird things have been coming up with your stability just trying to toy with you you need to know that you're safe you need to know that you and your loved ones are safe and that you're protected by this cute little crab here he might stay at home a lot of the times but he always comes out and he's always ready to put up a fight when he needs it but you'll also never find anybody who loves you just as much so in your surroundings you are exactly where you need to be right now it might not be where you're going to be in the future it might not be where you were in the past You might be experiencing some growing pains, but you are where you need to be. And so just relax and sit back and enjoy where you are, please, because that's the whole point of being there. Okay, I was going to pull some more with these cards, but they're telling me no, not with these. So we're going to go ahead and get to anything else you need to know, group two. Pulling these Mystic Shaman Oracle cards. I love this deck. You can find all of these on my Etsy shop or at spiritualistic.com. Let's see if there's anything else you need to know. Ooh, okay. The Indian Cross. You are definitely mastering balance of realms. Not just masculine, feminine, but of the inner world, the upper world, the different... All the worlds. <laughs> check out um, check out the Indian Cross, the Incan Cross. Check out what it means for you. And um, Eagle. You're heavily protected. So it could be that you're very interested in medicine or traditional Eastern medicine or indigenous medicine or whatever. But whatever this is about wellness, you feel drawn to about wellness mediumship, um, connecting different realms and balance, whatever this is about finding balance that you feel called to on your path, you are guided and protected. You have a, an eye, a vision that nobody else on the planet has. It's just for you. And it was put for you, by you in this moment right now for you to be exactly where you are, to have this bird's eye eagle view, this intensity and this knowledge of what you've previously learned and this balance in order to send it into spirit. Whatever this means for you, I'm feeling that you're sending earth energy into spirit and spirit energy into the earth. So it could be that you're transmuting earth energy, sending it up, turning it into light, and you're taking light and you're putting it into the earth. With completion at the bottom of the deck in reverse, with the Irobo eating its tail, it's letting me know that you don't necessarily feel like your job is done right now, but it will be in the future, right? So you know that there's a lot of healing left to be done, but you are where you are, and you're proud of it. Maybe you're working on some inner child healing right now. You didn't expect this to come up, but it's because there's something that really needs to come for you, and it's a very good positive change. Um, You've been working super hard, and that's okay. You know, you're allowed to work hard, and you're allowed to rest, and you're allowed to play. It doesn't have to be all of one or two or five things. You're allowed to change it up as much as you want. There are many paths. Any road you take will take you to full knowledge, full love, full bliss. You cannot take the wrong path to get where you're going because you need to go where you're going and you are and that's the way that you feel 
pulled to go. There are many paths to get there, but you feel divinely guided at all times to the point where you've already grown the roots that you need to grow. The lightning striking over here, like, you're, you're good. You've already balanced the situation. You've already avoided the lightning. You saw it coming already, and you've already avoided this. You took the right path, and anything you go, like, on from here on is just for fun. Honestly, all the abundance that's coming for you in the future is absolutely insane, and you are balanced. I encourage you to continue working on your energy work. Basically, maybe look into Reiki, look into energy transmutation, energy work, energy healing, physical energy work, things like that. Um, Qigong is a great one. Love me some, chi love me some Qigong. Um, how love, namaste. <laughs> I really hope that this reading shed some light onto your situation or how you're feeling in general. You know, it's okay for that last twig to break because what's underneath it is way stronger than that twig and you're not going to notice that it's gone, I promise. Um, and I don't think that it is what you think it is either. Okay? Be open to surprises. Again, I hope this shed some clarity on your situation. I love you so much, group two, and namaste. Hey the group three. How's it going? This is your seven chakra check-in. And if you selected the third group, then this is the third group's reading, and that means that it's for you. So let's take a look. First, we're going to take a look at your situation through the Ascended Masters Oracle deck. And in the pre-shuffle, saw positive change for our body. I'm just going to take a look at your situation before we see how your chakras are doing and how your energy's balanced out. Mmm, crystals. I haven't gotten this card yet. <laughs> I've only had this deck for a couple weeks. Got crystals. Listen, come out of the closet. Okay, hold on. Let me divvy these up bite-sized pieces. Crystals, listen, come out of the closet. This is, I'm feeling your masculine energy where it's at right now. So you're doing a lot of work. You could be learning more about crystals or just using them to fine-tune your own energy. Um, and you're listening to what they have to say. It's like you're learning, um, oh, you're talking about what it is that you've been learning. You're putting some action towards it. Okay. You're making sure to listen more and you're actively listening. In your feminine energy, you are confident, you know what's up, you aren't really giving anybody any any time of day if you know that it's going to take from your energy, and this is a reminder to drink some more water. Um, you are maybe ignoring some of your emotions about some certain things, but you're perhaps filling this with confidence that you have about yourself. There's something in the heart space that needs to be addressed, it needs to come out, and maybe it will when you are... Um, learning lessons from other sources that are not you, but you are putting action towards because you're trying to build something. Or trying to learn, oh, it seems like you're trying to learn something. There's information that you want to share that only you can share, but you need to make sure that you are sending the exact right message. So, you are sticking to what you know, and that happens to be to stay aloof, detached from drama, and maybe physically dehydrate yourself a little bit or not stand in your emotions or intuition openly. At the bottom of the deck, nurture yourself with Mother Mary. Yeah. Beautiful. You got the most Ascended Masters cards, group three. Um, let's take a look at your chakras. We already have a lot of crown energy coming out here and intuition. With your root chakra, oh, we have the six of swords. You're thinking about leaving a situation that you're currently in, or maybe you're in a transitionary period in your heart space, and this is bleeding into your your physical life, into your stability. Um, you are enjoying every step of the way. However, it's like maybe you know that you are not where you need to be forever. You want to take a move or make a risk, but it needs to be calculated. You know that whatever it is you're trying to do is for you with Page of Wands in the solar plexus chakra, and you're feeling, actually you feel pretty confident. I mean, you know what it is you want, you know that you can go for it, you know that you'll get it if you go for it, and that's why you're enjoying, you're enjoying the road to get there, and you're enjoying, you are enjoying where you're at. However, you aren't feeling stable inside, and I'm getting very much the feeling with these cards that you're kind of the person that needs to wear your heart on your sleeve all the time, you know, you, you don't wear a mask. 
this pile. I mean, maybe we need to drink some more water so that you can get more in touch with those emotions that are trying to come out. Because if you're not aware of what they are, maybe whatever comes out might not be authentic. Um, not out of purposeful action, but out of lack of internal exploration. In your heart chakra, we have the Queen of Wands. Oh, you are so passionate about something. You know that it's for you. You love it. Your guides are all with you. You got all these candles. You're maybe doing some spell work, some candle flame work, manifestation, rituals, whatever it is, communicating with spirits. Um, yeah, you are very much in a position of watching, waiting, and learning. But the more that you watch and wait and learn, it's like you're wondering if you are where you need to be or if you need to leave in order to be where it is you see yourself in the future. There are some things that you're still piecing together, but either way, you're present and you're enjoying the moment. It's beautiful. In your throat chakra, we have the Knight of Swords. So you might be expressing some things as they bubble up. You might be speaking quickly. You might be speaking a little bit less thoughtfully than what you normally would, or there could be some extra things that are coming up for you right now. It also could be that you decided to speak your truth on something and you're just going for it full force. So you're speaking, you're speaking your truth, you're speaking your truth quickly and like unapologetically. And I really feel with all of these like almost muted feminine energy cards that are a little bit almost timid seeming, not timid, but um, refined seeming seems like in your throat chakra you are standing in your power you know what's up you know what you want you know that you can get it and you know how to get it and so at this point you're not taking any bull um but yes quick words also i'm being drawn to uh the archery to his bow and arrow on his back so it could be that you're into archery this could be significant or it could also signify a uh, cupid's bow cupid's arrow coming for you striking you maybe that's what this is about in your intuition, you have strength. Yeah, so you're getting messages. You're definitely getting intuitional, intu intuitive downloads. Oh my gosh. You're getting intuitive downloads about wha where it is that you see yourself being, what it is you want, where it is you're going, all the stuff that you're expressing, and you know that you're on the right path. You know you're doing the right thing. Hey, Heidi Ho, what's up? You're focusing on your strengths. Again, drink more water, please. <laughs> but there's something in there that's trying to come out. It's either being repressed consciously or subconsciously by you, but either way, it's almost like your heart is so full when you think about it. Mm, the hangman and the crown chakra. With number 12, you're ending some cycles, perhaps some karmic cycles. Um, the first card of both masculine and feminine energies are could be construed a bit mm, like you could do some balancing in this area. But the second and third cards are happy and good and this indicates that your feminine energy is stronger right now than your masculine energy but with that said one one self 11 realization internalization self-exploration this is where your problem is when it comes to your personal relationships looking around you you're being strong you are showing your fortitude you're putting your brave face on you're not wearing a mask you're being authentic but you're just enjoying the present moment unauthentically that's what's coming out that along with all your wisdom but you're keeping your heart close to your chest not that you don't know what you want so maybe that's what you're communicating that you know what you want but maybe not what it is or there's something that's being slyly omitted the 33 page of wands with the hanged man again the 12 reduces to a three so this is like a triple threat three 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 so you are a master of your craft you are divinely guided and protected and you are creating something there are some amazing things coming your way and sometimes you just have to wait for divine timing in order for them to come three times three is nine times three is 27 which is another nine which is a future which is a three which is three three times and this is a loop this is a cycle but we've got a 12. you're ending it you're starting something new you're running for it fearlessly um, when it comes to the collective, like, not just 11, you and yourself, 20s, like, 22, your relationships, and 33, like, the collective, the world, you as, you relate to everything else, right? So here we have the page of wands and the hanged man. So, it's like you're starting something, um, you're, oh, I'm hearing new perspective by, uh, Panic of the Disco, um, 
you want to see something from a new perspective. I come around because I love your face and I admire your expensive taste and... Okay. So there's something that's going on in your physical. Hmm. Something about your physical... Physical surroundings and your throat chakra. They just are not wanting to line up here. Like as a storyline, it's like you, you walked away from something that didn't serve you into a place that was much better. You found yourself happy, but you knew it was going to be temporary, but you could stick there for a little bit until something was sticky enough to pull you out, you know? And eventually something was, but it ended up coming from inside instead of outside. This could have surprised you, and then you grew that, and now you're master of it. You're like, oh, that's cool. This is fun. Now what? Now what do I do? Where do I go? You're hanging on, holding tight, and you're looking for the answer. You know it's going to come from the crown chakra, which is beautifully unironic because this is tarot um and it's like you're just waiting you're, you're talking to your crystals you're healing your energy and you're listening so that when it's time for you to come out of the closet you can focus on your strengths leave all that crap behind you and just feel right so let's pull some advice uh your advice is going to come from the numerology tarot or oracle deck oh my goodness So, whatever this uh, is for you, the situation, it could mean, obviously, lots of things. Um, it's time to take action. Head of swords. There's something you need to... There's, like, a guide you need to talk to, a meditation session you need to have, or, like, a truth you need to speak. Expect powerful change when you do. Mm -hmm. Aries? Aries don't give a crap. Are you kidding me? New moon? They just, new moon in Aries, this is sitting back, relaxing, speaking your truth, like, not caring if it hurts people, actually, maybe liking it a little bit, because you're like, yeah, me, you know, like, <laughs> that fire energy, it's time to take action, you know, I expect powerful change when you do, because eclipses, new moon eclipses never don't bring change, it's gonna be intense, right, fiery climax approaches, I'm feeling less so climax, but the fire, here we have Aries again, Aries, 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 fire energy, it's like you are taming a fiery beast. You are good enough. Whatever is telling you that you're not, you are. And this fire energy, like fire, destroys. I want you to remember that it creates, it does not maintain, and it does destroy. That is a thing. Fire is hot and fire. Fire is hot and cold, but it is never stable. Not unless it is tended to by an external force. And that could be an element, that could be a person, that could be a being. So there's some fire in your surroundings or in your internal, either way, that needs to be tamed. Um, and it, around you, is making you feel like you're not good enough. It's honestly hurting you. It's burning you. You need a practical plan. You need to come to Earth. Um, think about what it is that you like. Full moon and Taurus. Libra energy, or Libra, Venus, Taurus, whatever. Your dreams need a practice. Sorry, I meant Venus, like energy. Um, full moon and Taurus. Um, think about what it is that you like, what it is that you value. You know, conclusions are within reach, whatever the situation is. It could be about... A situation closing ahead of time to what you think to what you think and it could also be that the way that you're feeling is gonna close out soon don't let your pride get in your way but I feel like this is more so like don't let lack of self-confidence get in your way not because you feel that way but because your environment is currently trying to pressure you to do so so that you break under pressure but you're balancing spirituality and practicality. You already are. Full moon and pri Pisces. This is the 12th sign. You did get the 12th card. You are ending these cycles. You already know you've already learned this lesson. You've walked through it. You've already done everything correctly. And your advice is to keep doing what you're doing and keep speaking your truth and allow it to be uncomfortable right now. Because if you were not uncomfortable, you would not move. And when you need to, and you know when you need to move. So you do. And you know when you need to rest. So you do. And that's what you do. So keep doing that. And don't ever second guess yourself. Because anyone who tells you otherwise does not have your best interest at heart. And that should be very obvious. But sometimes it's not. Because of the way that people tend to, um, you know, come at us. Anything else you need to know? I'm really feeling that that was it on top of the advice. But I just can never get enough a mystic mystical shaman oracle so <laughs> you're working your butt off you're trying to make changes but you're feeling stuck but everything that's going on is divinely guided and you're you need to ground you're trying to ground you are grounding that's what's up Pachamama. 
you know, creative energy. You got five, four, four, so you're changing and creating stability, but in a way that is not difficult. No, no more difficult. It is fun. It's like you're working smarter, not harder, like the jaguar. Um, the jaguar stalks his prey. The jaguar is the protector. The jaguar is the silent king of the jungle. <laughs> um, the jaguar, he has completed his cycle. This is a 28 energy. You're loud, or you're not loud, but you're you're in charge. It's like you have that silent authority to you. And you're grounding it, and you're doing something good for the collective with it. And it's that, uh, it's that that's making you wonder internally about yourself. But you already know. The giveaway. Something is <laughs> something's coming for you. Five, it's going to be a fun gift from your guides that's going to change everything. You can bring that to the bank. <laughs> flow. Continue to let it flow. Continue to love yourself. Continue to love yourself and Mother Earth equally because you are one and the same. And this will never change. It never has and it never will. I love you. I love you so much. I really hope that this sheds some clarity or light onto your situation. I hope that you're able to do some of this energy work I know you know how to do. And just give yourself that break and know that you're worth it. I love you so much, Group 3. I hope you have a phenomenal rest of your day. I love you. And namaste.